London Beekeepers Association has over 4,200 hives registered and is giving their continuous support to keep this figure growing. Now many would flee at the sight of a bee, but have you ever stopped to think whether you could survive without them? We're in London to take a look. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want to sing it note for note. Don't worry. Be happy. Bees are important to our existence. They are responsible for providing one out of three bites of food that you take every day. Bees pollinate around 80% of Britain's crops, enabling them to grow and thrive to provide food. Research shows that 85% of the UK apple crop and 45% of the strawberry crop relies on bees to grow. As Britain's climate is changing, it is important that we protect a wide species of bees to ensure that food production remains stable lowering our demands for food imports. But, how are big cities contributing to protecting the bees and how can you at home help? We met with Sharon Bassey, a trained beekeeper and bee teacher to see the work that she does across London. I keep bees along with Liz here on the allotment, along with um, other areas in three boroughs, um, local parks, um, have community groups there too. They're economical in the, for the environment just due to the pollination. Um, they pollinate a lot of our crops, probably up to two thirds of the food we eat come from bees. I would think the main one is planting forage for them. Um, there are a lot of bee honey beehives now, particularly in London. Mm -hmm. um, what we really need is to make sure they've got enough forage for them you know, to sustain themselves. There's always complications. <laughs> I think it's about swarming, really. It's just being aware of, you know, things can go wrong. They are wild animals, they're not tame, so you need to have good husbandry skills. Um, bees can turn ultra defensive. You know, things happen to them, they can lose a queen, they can get quite defensive when they have a honey store, you know, a surplus of honey. Um, you need a, I think, a backup apiary, whereas if they get like that, you can move them out of the city and deal with the problem and then perhaps move them back and, and swarming's an issue, you know, just trying to stay on top of that. So keeping bees sounds simple, right? But is it as easy as it sounds? As a beekeeper, I hope that I uh, provide a place for the bees to live and I try and grow um, bee-friendly bee plants and, and, and flowers and to help out uh, other, other bee species. So the active beekeeping season is between, can, can fall anywhere between uh, March, March to September. Of course, with uh, the seasons changing, um, sometimes it can be warm in February and warm in October or November, sometimes even warm in December. So when the bees are active in spring and summer, you have about half a day a week, I would say, when you're, you're looking after your hives and making up new equipment and checking the bees and just making sure that the apiary is clean and tidy. And I, I tend to just um, give my honey away to family and friends for Christmas. I don't sell it. Other beekeepers may sell local honey because that's lovely. And um, I also use the wax and the honey for beauty recipes as well and for making furniture polish. A lot of associations in London run courses and I'd say it's really important to, to do a course before you actually start practicing beekeeping by yourself. Uh, so I hope that we, we hope to help to raise awareness to the public that all, all the uh, yellow, stingy, buzzy things they see flying in their garden are, are really useful to the environment and to them. So we decided to go and see if the public knew exactly what these bees are up to. Well, they make honey and pollinate the flowers. Well, they produce honey, I would imagine, don't they? And yep. uh, the pollinator type. Um, I know they make honey, but um, I wouldn't like them around my kids. Honey's obviously lovely on toast as well, so um, I mean, they're the two sort of main beneficial things. I'm not quite a fan of the science of it all. But... London has shown that no matter what space you have to offer, there's always a way you can get involved to help out. Whether that's volunteering at a local hive, or adopting bees in your own back garden. Where there's a bee, there's a way. So create a buzz and be more green. Good night. Here's a little song I wrote. You might want.